Am I all good to go? All right, excellent. Well, good morning. Thank you for taking the time to come listen to this uh, specific session. Uh, the title, it, it's a bit long, so let me just actually read it out. It's Enhancing Media Workflows with Private, On-Demand, Flexible IP Delivery Utilizing Automated Networks. That is a mouthful, but we really couldn't find another way to boil this down in one word because every element of it specific to the media vertical applies. It's about private, it's about being on demand, it's about flexible and IP delivery. So before we kind of dive into the materials, I wanted to take a step back and first talk about who are we, PCCW Global our global footprint, then we'll get into the digital solution component of it, specific to Console Connect, spots, and a use case to kind of show you how this has been put into practice. So, let's start here. PCCW Global is the international arm of HKT, Hong Kong Telecom. We're a leading telco provider, of course, in the Hong Kong area, but being the international division, we operate in over 150 countries across the world with our own fiber, satellite, and IP backbone. So having said that, let's take a, click, a quick look at our IP infrastructure. So the IP network that we operate globally spans to about 101 POPs. So that makes us one of the larger international telcos that works with the broadcast and media, media verticals in doing that with an overlay. And the overlay is what we refer to as global television network. So this is an enablement on top of the IP network specific for the media vertical. This can be rolled out at the customer end location, at events, at our POP infrastructure. So what you see here is constantly augmented and growing as our demands and marketplace increases. So that in a nutshell is PCCW Global, our global infrastructure, and specifically our GTVN network. So that brings us to really the heart and the core of this conversation. As most of you work with telcos, they all will have a phenomenal footprint, great services, great solutions, but there is really one big issue. It's static. You can't have control over how you want your network to look like, how to make the changes on the fly. Everything is still very traditional. Now, walking around here, you're just simply surrounded by a lot of IP-driven solutions, by a lot of cloud-driven solutions. So how does a telco environment cater to this? How do we enable you to use these global networks in a setting that's more automated, IP-driven, and secure? So that is at the, at the core and at the heart of our digital platform. We're going to first look at Console Connect. So Console Connect is our software-defined interconnect platform that sits up, onto, up over top of our IP infrastructure that enables specifically for, again, for, eh, sorry, clicker issues that enables Console Connect to deliver just that for the media industry. The uh, production often now is IP driven. Console Connect ties into that. You need secure and predictable live streaming. Public IP, not always as reliable. Having the private IP network that we have internationally with the console connect on top of it, gives you that private infrastructure that also increases your performance. Um, automated, an event can happen any moment, any time, or you're gonna have swings in production that you need to augment or decrease requirements. That's all driven on a console connect platform. So let's kind of visualize what that looked like, what that looks like. So this circle represents um, everything Console Connect does. So as you're working with a multitude of providers, uh, you're able to establish connections. That can be between your offices, your data centers, that can be to your cloud providers. And we have listed several of the cloud providers there that we're connected to. Additionally, you might work with remote production facilities, 
you can connect into there. So all those lines that you're seeing, you get to control. So you're using our backbone infrastructure, but you get to control it. You get to choose where it needs to go to and not be dependent on public IP, not be dependent on a static environment of traditional ordering, wait times, et cetera. So it ties in with where we see the media market moving quite rapidly. Uh, things need to get done on the fly. So why shouldn't your telco network as well? SaaS providers, that's not a big element. You're gonna have a lot of services and solutions that you get from your SaaS providers. You can all have this on one platform. It removes a lot of the complexity of your environment by having it all on one portal in one cohesive um, setup where you can also monitor usage and make, again, make the adjustments when needed. The glo being global also means that we're not restricted to a particular data center, to a particular vendor. So we're not only driven on one platform, we're almost platform agnostic. So we can carry you into many parts of the world via many different options. And that's really what this slide kind of intends to illustrate there. Now, it wouldn't be good if we rolled out this platform and called it a day. This was good enough. It never is good enough. So what we're going to see next is extending this global network with the console connect and tying it in to uh, spots. I'm still trying to get used to this name myself. And it's just your self-provisioning um, occasional use services. So you can log in and schedule your usage from our Stanley Earth Station in Hong Kong when you need occasional use TV. That can be done again via a platform for the portal. You can schedule that and that is one element of how we continue to increase the coverage and ability of the network. Now that we've talked about who we are as a company, our global infrastructure, the scope with the software-defined overlay of Console Connect. Let's take a brief look at how we put this in practice with a, a short-term event. So this can all be for long-term, but this user case is for short-term. Esports is a, a huge growth market for us. And again, because we have the ability to do the private IP. That's a big factor when it comes to esports. This particular event, let me just quickly click through here, is it was a three-day event and it needed to enable the users to be able to stream, but more importantly, the, the gamers to connect to the servers in Taiwan. So they were situated in Hong Kong, needed to get to Taiwan, but also to connect to Singapore with the AWS platform and also streaming it into mainland China. Lots of moving components, and I can assure you that the esports organizers aren't experts in telecom, nor do they have to be or should be. But they saw the benefits of this portal and how quick and easy it was to set up because it simplifies the complexity. So here it illustrates quite nicely, kind of in the, the dark blue lines with the light blue circle, the private element of it. Because the biggest part, whenever you stream or have a requirement of low latency, high performance, you want to do it on a private network. Public IP simply isn't going to be good enough. So here it shows you how it went from Hong Kong to Singapore and Taiwan. From there it went its respective routes. We can connect to AWS. We on the fly were able to increase capacity because we needed it. And again, that's the flexibility we're aiming to deliver to the media vertical. So that's high level on what we're doing in the industry, how a telco can stay nimble and agile within the media vertical where we see a ton of changes, especially cloud and IP driven. Um, I hope this was informative, but we have our experts here in the booth, just a few um, boots down to the left here. So hopefully you stop by and learn more about specifically Console Connect and how we can remove you from static more into a uh, agile environment. So thank you. <laughs>